what's happening. It's B-side. And in my hand, I have the Fender American Original 70s Telecaster Custom. And today in this video, I want you to find out if this guitar is for you. It really is for the guy that's looking for a cool, classic rock, vintage rock and roll tone machine. So first off, let me just say thank you for coming and hanging out with me for a minute and uh, talking guitar. I'm totally stoked to talk to you about this Telecaster Custom. And really, the goal of these videos is to help you understand if the gear that I'm reviewing is really for you, if you should put your hard-earned money towards that gear. And the Telecaster Custom is a unique instrument. This is kind of a love-hate relationship kind of instrument and it's for a very specific person. So just because you might be looking for a telly does not mean this telly is the one you should be looking for. And really how I would describe this Telecaster is that a Les Paul and a standard Telecaster had a child and they had the Telecaster Custom. That really is what sums this guitar up. I mean, if you look at it, unlike a regular Telecaster, it has a humbucker in the neck, it has volume and tone for each pickup, and it has a three-way toggle switch uh, up, up on the bass side versus down here on the treble side. This is just like a Les Paul layout, just on a Telecaster body, and one single coil in the bridge. And there's actually a reason for that, and actually the Telecaster Custom and the Telecaster Deluxe, which you may have seen, that has two humbuckers. Back in the 70s, the Les Paul was gaining more and more traction, again, after it had traction and then lost traction and then got discontinued and then came back. Anyway, long story short, the 70s, people are playing Les Pauls, Fender's going, we need a guitar that has a humbucker in it. Seth Lover designs this Cunefe humbucking pickup, which is Cunefe is the periodic table elements for copper, nickel, iron. And hey, let's just take that pickup, throw it in a Telecaster body, make all the control layouts look like a Les Paul and start selling them. So needless to say, if you are a Les Paul person looking for something like a Telecaster, this guitar is going to be for you. If you are a person that's into the Telecaster sound and just thinks this looks cool, you probably won't be happy very long. It does have some very cool tones, but at the same time is not like a true Telecaster. So uh, for me, I love Les Pauls. I'm a Les Paul guy, so I love this Tele, which is why I picked it up. Uh, I'm gonna keep this one in the collection for a while. Also what's interesting about these is these brand new run about the same price as what you can get a vintage one of these in player condition. So you do actually have a decision to make if you like this kind of instrument, which is do you get the reissue, the quote unquote reissue, the 70s original, uh, this is an American made guitar, so they run about two grand, or do you find a player's grade one for around two grand? Well, I actually think the newer manufacturing is a little bit tighter than the stuff I've played that was in the 70s. Uh, the store I bought this from actually had a 70s uh, vintage one in stock at the same time, exact same guitar, except the original in black. Uh, it was pretty beat up, but it was it was actually like 1800. Uh, and I went with the American one. Once again, it just it's it's a better I think it's a better built guitar than how they were building them in the 70s. Okay, enough talking. Let's get to a couple tones here. All right, so let's just go to the bridge pickup. We're just gonna do some open chord stuff just so you can kind of get a feel for that pickup. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go to the neck. and get, get both of those pickups on. So 
So let's go back down to the bridge. Let's go to the neck. So as you probably know, tellies like a little bit of dirt, so I have a Wampler Tumnus right over here. We're gonna turn that on. We're gonna see what this sounds like with a little bit of overdrive on it. Links to all this stuff in the description below. Also, let's check it out. <laughs> So now we have to answer the question, is this guitar for you? And unfortunately, that question is a little more difficult than what it might first at, at first seem. So if you're a telly purist and you're looking for like a real telly, this is not the guitar for you. If you are a Les Paul purist and you're looking for like a Les Paul, this guitar is not for you. If you like Les Pauls and you like tellies and you kind of wish you had the best of both worlds, then this might be the guitar for you but it's only the guitar for you if you can deal with, or I say deal with, if you can appreciate some of the vintage specs that are on this guitar, kind of like the gloss finish neck, the vintage tall frets, the vintage machine heads. Those things are uh, really, they really make this guitar feel like it's from the 70s. So if you like that vintage feel, then this guitar can be for you. But if you want a modern feel, then this guitar isn't for you. <laughs> you have to, once again, go back to, you know, maybe if you want a, 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 a Telecaster with a humbucker in the neck, some of the Performer Series Telecasters have that now. I'll put links to all this stuff in the description below. So you really do have to like the look of this Tele and want the bite of the humbucker in the neck with the single coil and the vintage the vintage spec. I mean, I, I don't mean to keep going over that, but it really is one of those things where if you can't get your hands on it and you just think it looks cool and you're going to go to wherever, it, you know, and buy one, I think you're going to be surprised when you get it. If you haven't played any 70s Fender stuff before, it feels kind of like it's from the 70s, which people either love or hate. So I, I would say this guitar is for a pretty small segment of the population and if it's for you it's really for you i think that's why they came out with it because there really is a group of people that are really into these guitars uh, if you are playing in a classic rock cover band this guitar would be awesome you could get some great stone stuff out of it i mean obviously this guitar you see it and you think rolling stones you think keith richards um but you know you can get some of that tom petty stuff out of it you can get the you know fluid mac tones out of it um, there's definitely some cool stuff you can get out of this guitar and that's got to be who this guitar is for. It really is for the guy that's looking for a cool classic rock, vintage rock and roll tone machine and wants kind of a throwback to the 70s. That is the Fender Telecaster Custom. Hey, that's what I think. Let me know what you think in the description below. Is this guitar worth the 2000 bucks for you? How about if you could get it for 1200 on eBay pre-owned? If you had that much money, what would you buy instead? What are some good alternatives? Uh, and with that, I'm B-Side. For more gear reviews, news, and commentary, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you next time.